generally speaking, one of the biggest potential problems that you will have when upgrading to a newer version of an operating system is compatibility issues. Sometimes you may need to troubleshoot those problems and find solutions. Now you can come into the troubleshooting center in the control panel just by searching for troubleshooting in Cortana or opening up the control panel and then searching for troubleshooting and that will take you right to where you are here. So one of the easiest ways to fix a compatibility problem with a particular piece of software is to go into this section here. So for instance, if you were using Adobe Photoshop on Windows 7 and it worked perfectly, and now you're on Windows 10 and it doesn't work perfectly, you can essentially tell Windows to run Adobe Photoshop as it would have if it were Windows 7. So you could come in here and go through this uh, section, you just say next here. It's going to look for issues with potential programs. If it doesn't find one, you can go ahead and select it and then say next. Now Adobe Photoshop is working fine on my system, so I'm not gonna go ahead and do that. But basically it would give you the option to emulate a specific version of Windows. So you could uh, emulate Windows XP, Windows 2000, Windows 7, um, many different previous versions of Windows and then see if the program works better or if that fixes the problem for you. Uh, in many cases it will, in some cases it won't. Besides software, there are other potential problems that you will need to troubleshoot. And generally Microsoft and Windows and the forums will have some answers for you on those questions. So if you're having a particular issue, a lot of times Windows will prompt you to look at troubleshooting, but if not, you can come into this center here. For instance, if you were having an issue with audio playback, you could come into hardware and sound, and then you can fix issues with that here. Now oftentimes what this software will do is propose a fix and offer to uh, make that fix for you. If there are no fixes found, then it will basically take you to the web into a Microsoft forum where you can post your question or maybe find an answer to the question if someone else has already had that issue. In most cases, however, if you are running into a particular issue where a program can't open or a particular piece of hardware isn't working with your system, Windows is generally smart enough to realize that you are trying to do something and you're unable to, and it will actually automatically bring up the troubleshooting for you. Now, if you're having problems with Windows Update, you can also come into here. I was actually having problems a couple of days ago where some updates would not install. So you can see this problem here it can be fixed using this section. So there are a lot of great troubleshooting tools in here. Um, it will just depend on what problem you're having, which one of these solutions will work best for you. But again, Windows should propose the correct uh, suggestion for you automatically.